into the fog on a highway in Virginia where 95 cars and trucks slammed into each other, one after the other, 95. ABC's David Curley wants to show you what to do if you're driving and suddenly the fog closes in. This is crazy. A striking scene. Is anybody out there bleeding? Cars and trucks crushed. This man crawling out of his overturned van. A mile-long mess. 17 different pileups, some ending in fire. It was the middle of the day. Three dead, two dozen hurt on a mountainous interstate where fog this time of year is notorious. Fog is common and most dangerous when the seasons change, with cold and warm air colliding. Look in the rearview mirror of this car. A man stopped at a light. The car behind swerves and nearly sideswipes him. You know, motorists really can't underestimate fog because they see it all the time. This is part of their daily life. But at the same time, you don't give it the respect that perhaps you should. In 2011, 20,000 accidents involving fog in this country, which killed more than 350 people and injured 10,000. We used a fog machine to simulate conditions. And conditions can change quickly. Right now I can see this orange cone clearly. But if a fog bank rolls in, all of a sudden it disappears. If it was a parked car, I would never see it. It's like driving blindfolded. What can you do? Reduce your speed and watch your speedometer because fog gives an illusion of slow motion. Use low beams or fog lights because your high beams just reflect off the fog, making it even harder to see. Shut off the radio and lower your window a bit so you can listen for traffic. California has gone so far as to create a public service campaign. Fog kills. Slow your pace. It's not a race. A deadly lesson again in the mountains of Southwest Virginia. David Curley, ABC News, Washington.